In this video, I'm going to show you how to take screenshots on your computer. This video includes some easy, free ways, but there's also one paid way that I believe is one of the best ways to take screenshots on your computer and increase the value of the screenshots you take. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time, kindly consider subscribing. To begin, we are going to begin with the simplest tool on Windows, and if you're using Windows 7 like me, uh, the tool that we're going to be using is called Snipping Tool. So we just go and search uh, for Snipping Tool. And the Snipping Tool is just plain and simple. As it says, open it up. Just uh, drag the cursor around the area you want to capture. Let's say it's this window. Just drag it. Holding the left click. And once you release it, it takes that screenshot. That's the easiest way. So. It's really boring when somebody sends you a screenshot of what problem they have maybe on their computer and they've taken their phone and uh, done a picture of what they're seeing and everything uh, is blurry or lines are moving or it's too bright and it's not clear. This is an easy way for you to take screenshots and it also has the pen tool, the rubber, highlighter. So if somebody wanted to draw something, they can just draw uh, what it looks like. Uh, you can even... Uh, change the color or the customize the pen and then once you're satisfied just click on save since i'm on windows 7 uh, this particular tool is changing so if you click on save it goes to my pictures uh, if you're on windows 7 uh, this particular tool is being upgraded uh, and the tool they're upgrading it to is called uh, snip and sketch so you can go and get snip and sketch uh, from uh, microsoft store and it's free so you don't have to pay a dime. This is what is going to up, uh, to to be upgraded in Windows 10. So snipping tool is still available, but not for long. But we're going to have snip and sketch next, and it's uh, it you can quickly annotate screenshots, photos, and other images with your pen, touch, or mouse, and save, paste, or share with other apps. So it's also going to be an easy way to do that. The next way you can take screenshots on your computer is using print screen. Print screen is uh, what is uh, written on your keyboard keys, PRTSC, and uh, this is a pretty easy way. Depending on the configuration of your keyboard, you may need to press the function key for this to be active, but for me, I just need to press uh, print screen, PRTSC, and once I press it, it seems like nothing has happened. But if I go on and open up the application called Paint, this is an, a legendary application, uh, and if I open it up, uh, it brings this canvas. And if I press on Control V, which is to paste, it's going to paste. And you can minimize this. It's going. Uh, sorry, that's too much. It's going to paste the whole screen that we are seeing here. That's what is going to be displayed. And if you need to do any uh, resizing, add uh, add arrows. You can do that from that type text. So basically, all that you want to do. So you can use it to explain yourself to someone, show them all that you want, all that you want to do. You can use it to explain what you want to showcase in this, change colors, change a lot of things in this particular application. So using Microsoft Paint and print screen PRT is an also easy way to take screenshots on your computer. Now we're going to look at that method and since I don't want to save this, I'll just uh, close it out, don't save. And we're going to look at another method and it's using an application called Lightshot and it's uh, available for Windows and Mac and it's a fast a way to take and customize a screenshot. And all you need to do is just download, it's a very small program and uh, free as well so all you need to do i've already downloaded and installed just uh, right click on it take a screenshot and once you click on that your screen goes black and if you hover anywhere you'll see uh, the mouse uh, has some words select area so if you want to take a screenshot of this particular area you just select that and once you release your left click there are options available for you to work with. There is a pen tool, uh, there is a rectangle tool. Let's say you want to draw a rectangle around that. You can draw that. 
if you wanted to extra highlight stuff uh, if you wanted to write some text uh, you can say this is what I mean and you can adjust it to show somebody where everything is going uh, you can also uh, undo what you've done so it's a pretty good lightweight application that you can use to take screenshots on your computer so once you're done with all the edits and the screenshots that you want to take uh, in this particular session then you can either upload it to printscreen.com even the website says prt uh, upload prt uh, prn t s c r dot com uh, you can share it on social media uh, send on google print you can print uh, directly to your printer uh, copy it or even save it or just close out and and because i'm not interested in this particular picture i'll just close it out so just close it out so that's light shot and the final method that i'm going to show you is an application that i use and it's called snagit uh, by TechSmith and it's an awesome application uh, that will save you a ton of time uh, let's just go to all programs let's scroll down TechSmith Snagit 13 I know there are newer versions uh, but let's just click on this uh, if you just click on Snagit 13 uh, it's it's a robust application uh, that I'd recommend if you can get that particular budget and it's also if you can get to that particular budget you get it because it's going to save you a lot of time especially if you do step-by-step -step instructional screenshots for maybe your company uh, or any other thing that you want to do and as well it supports video and you can also take screenshots of whole web pages uh, make edits, especially with the latest uh, Snagit, and show people what you really need done in a particular section. So let's say we need, let's say image. If you go to image, you can select a region, you can do the effects that you want, border and all that. You can share if that's what you want to all other applications once the screenshot is taken. Then if you look at the video, selection, effects, you can look at all these things. But let's say we go for all in one and let's say we go for capture now the reason why print screen is written here it's a it's a hotkey and you can change this so that it doesn't interfere with your other screenshot taking applications and uh, since I, I use the print screen with snagit i'll just leave it as is and just click on capture and once i click on capture uh, these particular sections appear and you can see the arrows as they point if you had a big monitor and you need to take things, uh, screenshots horizontally, this is going to help you do just that. And if you want to do them vertically or even diagonally, this is going to help you do that. But we just need to take a screenshot, let's say, of this particular section up to there, and we're done. Once you do that, it's going to open up in the Snagit editor. Now, here you can do all the things that you want. And the reason why I was telling you that this is more advanced and it's a paid tool is because uh, the themes that you get are way better. Uh, the text customization are way better uh, than any other tool that we've covered already. So you can do callouts. Let's say, uh, let's say you want to draw a callout, maybe draw somebody's attention to this particular section. It's very, very easy to use Snagit Editor and Snagit to do this. So basically, those are just a couple of ways that you can take screenshots on your laptop on a Windows computer. And Snagit is also available for Mac. So if you're a Mac user, you're sorted and Lightshot is available for Mac as well. I hope this video is going to be beneficial for someone so that you stop taking those screenshots. Check out the links below for the applications that are mentioned. And until next time, thanks for watching.